Hi, my name's Ellen from the Spellbound Bead Company and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple necklace using our Halloween carrier beads. Now the instructions on how to make these beans, beads are available on our website including the uh, patterns on how to make the designs. There's also instructions on there to how to make them and there's a tutorial on our YouTube channel as well. So once you've made your beads you might want to make them into jewellery. So for this design we're just going to use the landscape versions of the beads. So we're just going to move these ones out of the way and we're just going to use these three beads here and we're going to use some black 6mm facets and some cotton thonging. So what I've done with the cotton thonging is I've started with a metre and then I've cut it into two lengths and I've coated each end of the thonging with some nail varnish. That was to stop it fraying and also to make it easier to uh, pass through the holes in the beads. Once you've got your cotton thonging, I'm going to, what we're going to do is we're going to tie a knot in the end of each length, like so. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to thread on a 6mm facet onto each length. And then we're going to decide which order we want to put our uh, beads on. So I'm going to put the uh, boo on first. So we'll thread that one on. like so and then we're just going to put another facet in between one onto each length and then I'm going to put my spider on next like that followed by a facet And then again, pass the uh, second length through on the other side. Like so. And then another facet. Like that. And then finally, I'm going to put my bat on the top and a facet on top of there too and then again threading it onto the other side and so there we go there we have our pendant piece on our necklace, simple as that. And what we're going to do is we could, could if you wanted to, you could always attach a clasp onto the. You could decide the uh, length of your length of cord, the length of your necklace that you want, and attach a clasp. But what we're going to do is we're just going to make a sliding knot on the top and the ends of our necklace, so we can adjust the length that we want when we want to wear it. So what you want to do, if I can position it right is cross your cords over so that they're facing so that you've got them overlapping like so try and get this bit out of the way and then what you're going to do is you lie them along that side each other and then you bend the free end backwards and then wrap that end round two or three times and then this is your fiddly bit pass that end you've wrapped around back up through those little loops that you've just made like so 
and then just gently pull it tight like that and then you've got a sliding knot along your cord and then what you want to do is with your cord in the opposite end again lie your cords alongside each other bend it back in the opposite direction so you've got a little loop there and then wrap your cord around once twice and then poke that end back up through the knot pull that tight like so and then you should have a free sliding knot on that side one on that side and then you there you are then you can adjust the length of your necklace once you popped it over your head, to whichever length of necklace you would like. And all you need to do is just trim the ends down of your cord, like so. And the other end, like so. And then what I would do is pop another little, little blob of nail varnish on the ends of your cord and that will stop them fraying. And there you have. One simple, one simple Halloween necklace.